Otter, what are I do now? So this morning, we're embarking on something that I don't know if it's going to pay any dividends or not. It's a long shot. It could be a, a long drawn out process. Um, we might not even get anywhere. This video might not come out. If it does, obviously you're seeing it. If it doesn't, then you won't be seeing it, will you? Um, but yeah, so there's been reports um, not far from where I am, uh, down on the local uh, river valley of, um, of otters lately. So um, they've been seen quite regularly. So we've come down and we've got a couple of spots now where we've had reports of otters. I've never photographed an otter in the wild. Um, so that would be really nice for me to do. Um, but yeah, as I say, I'm not sure, not sure this is going to work. Um, they can be quite elusive. Um, so I've got a couple of spots. So what I might do with this video is, uh, you know, I might be in different locations occasionally over different periods of time, and it could take weeks, months, years even. You never know. Um, but you know, we'll we'll keep this rolling and see what we can find, um, and hopefully we can turn up with some otters. I've come down this morning. It was a beautiful morning. There was a lovely sunset behind me over here. There was a full moon in front of me, which was absolutely gorgeous. Um, and the full moon was just going down over the hill. Um, as I said, it was lovely and clear, but now the, the fog has moved in. Um, the temperature's really dropped a lot. Um, you know, we were only, I mean, we were only one or two degrees when I got here. I think it's even colder than that now, but it's got quite thick. Um, so you can't see a great deal, to be honest, at the moment. So I don't think we're certainly gonna get any success this morning. But we're going to stick with it, see what we can find, um, and over a few days, see what appears. We've also got, just down here, um, uh, I'm not sure, badger den, fox den, I think possibly fox, um, and it looks quite active. When I've come down this morning and had a look, you know, there's some real fresh earth being dug out, so um, that's got some potential as well while we're down in this area. So I'm not going to come down here every week, every day, but you know, we're just going to come down here now and again, um, keep our ears open for any reports of anything. Barn owl, that's the other thing, you know, barn owls have been reported around here as well. So, so yeah, so fingers crossed, who knows what we'll find. That bit of film was filmed about, I don't know, 12 months ago, last winter sometime, um, when I, I started the search for the otters and really had no joy at all. You know, there was a, there was a couple reported, I tried in one place uh, and then I went um, to another area where they were seen really regularly and I went and I didn't see any, I saw a fleeting glimpse but that was it. Um, so yeah, um, really struggled still really wanted to see some of the otters and then a week or so ago I came down here um, and there was, there was a lot of reeds out the front of here and just behind the reeds I saw an otter um, 
and I thought, hmm, interesting. And since then, the reads have actually dropped down, um, so it's quite nice. Uh, so I came back in again, um, and again, came down one morning and very briefly saw the otter again. So I've really got to try. This is my chance, I think, to get the otter images. Um, so we're just going to stake it out, see what happens, um, keep our eyes peeled, see whether it comes out in the open. The, the water at the moment out here is really nice and still, so it's really nice. If, if anything comes across here, it's going to be quite nice. Um, at the moment, there's no activity. I mean, the, the birds on the on the on the lake here are, are, look pretty settled, pretty relaxed. So, which is a sign, you know, there's nothing out here at the moment. Um, but we're just going to keep our eye out. And yeah, is this our chance to get the otter? We're just going to wait and see. I think. Just had a sparrowhawk just fly straight across the front of us here, just way too quick for anything. That was a strange noise, but um, yeah, went straight through it up into the bushes somewhere out of the way. Uh, just flash in front of you, really. Um, but yeah, still nothing for the otter yet. So, and I'd say it's still quiet on the lake, the birds are still calm, so I don't think there's anything around at the moment. But it tends to come you know, out of this left hand side when I've seen it before, so. Eyes peeled. We'll keep focused. It's a really dull day out here at the moment. It's the rain's just starting to move in now. Um, you know, if we if we get an image, I mean, it's a great day if you want to photograph swans and things, the white birds, because it 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 gives you a nice soft light on them, um, and they show it well. But for the otter, it's not going to be great if it comes out here now. You know, ideally, you know, I want to be shooting at a thousandth of a second, but I'm probably going to have to be more like 
five hundredths of a second um, uh, and just ramping up the ISO really because otherwise the otter's not going to show it well on the water because it's quite dark in this area here uh, and, and obviously the otter's quite dark as well so but yeah you just got to go with what you've got you know you, there's nothing you can do about it um, but no sign of it just going to keep looking um, and yeah it's definitely getting colder as well just disappeared down that way now. Um, it's just gone behind the reeds and it's down there sort of rustling around in the reeds at the moment so I can't see it now. Um, but yeah, yeah we've got our first glimpse of the otter. Wasn't, wasn't too much, I mean we've got a bit of video, I mean it's so quick going through, cracked a bit, bit of, can't even get my words out, I'm that excited. <laughs> We got a bit of video, uh, got a few shots as well. Um, so hopefully they'll come out okay. As I say it's pretty dark, so uh, we're just going to have to see how they come out. But but yeah, yeah, absolutely amazing. It's, it's just, and I can still see it rustling in the reeds down there at the moment. So I'm just going to focus and see if it comes back in. I'm guessing it's probably going to go up the far end of the lake now as it's gone past here. Um, Yeah, amazing, amazing, really stoked, really good, really good. So uh, hopefully, if it goes up that way, maybe it'll come back as well, who knows. As expected, this otter's becoming a bit of an addiction, a bit like the kingfishers. You know, once you see one, you just want more. So you can tell, thick coat on now, when it's getting colder. Uh, came down a couple of days ago, and uh, again, had an otter sighting. Um, didn't, I don't think I got any fantastic images, got a few, but actually caught a fish outside where I was sitting. Um, and then it was moving around the reserve quite a bit. So, uh, Got a day off again today, so I've come down. I haven't been able to, I mean, when I was down the weekend, I couldn't vlog, it was just so busy, and, and the otter is really drawing attention to people at the moment. But I've come down, it's midweek, so it's nice and quiet this morning. So, just gonna see, we've been sitting here now for what I don't know, uh, probably an hour, hour and a half. Um, not seeing anything, yet. it was pretty dark when we came down, so it's pretty cold, sort of four and a half, five degrees. Uh, but lovely still day, so really nice. Overcast though, could do with a bit more light would be nice, but other than that, you know, it's really nice. So yeah, just going to sit there out for a while 
and see if we can get some more images of this otter. We've had a good few attempts at the otter now. Um, really been struggling. I mean, we've we've seen, we've seen it. We've got a few images. We've got a bit of video. Um, quite often, it's just ducking down under the water and very hard to see. Uh, it's just come past again this morning. Um, just run past here, but again, just surfacing briefly, going back under, and then coming up and then disappearing and then disappearing off to the left-hand side again. So, so yeah. So. Um, <coughs> I think I'm going to call it that, that for the video. You know, it's I'm still going to try and get some more images in the otter, and if I get anything great, then obviously I'll I'll put that up. But um, uh, but I think you know we caught it with that bit of a fish as well, uh, which is quite nice, um, and it, and it has been seen around quite regularly. And, and for me, it's my first otter, so you know I'm over the moon. I mean, okay, I've not got everything I want yet. You know, I didn't get that nice picture of it sitting on the reeds or sitting on an island. Uh, eating a fish out the water um, but I've got a few images and that's my first otter images so I'm really chuffed with that so uh, so yeah so I'm going to sit here for a few more hours today and just see what happens um, but whatever you're doing have a great day uh, thanks for watching and I'll catch up with you again soon bye for now